My name is Bethany Carney Almroth, and I am a, a research scientist. I work with ecotoxicology, so chemicals in the environment and how they affect fish. Most of my research now is with plastics in the ocean and how it affects fish. Well, SDG 14 is about the ocean, and it's about life under the ocean, underwater. And the ocean is so incredibly important for all life on Earth. And I think we really understand that now, how interconnected everything is. And, and the ocean is important for, for us as humans, for food, for transportation, for, for energy, for helping to, to maintain our climate, for, for so many different aspects of our life, but also for, for peace. It really gives us peace of mind and it makes us feel, feel good. And to be able to swim in salt water and, and play in the waves is something that really gives people a sense of joy. So the ocean is important to us in a lot of ways. But we also know that the ocean is really, really the, our, our biggest garbage dump. Everything that we use in society ends up there. And we've abused the ocean. We've taken too many fish and we've destroyed too many habitats and we've really just filled it with too much, too much garbage. If I were to discuss Swedish SDG 14, or the Swedish, the SDG 14 with the Swedish Fika, then I would really want to invite, I, I would need to invite a lot of people. Because I, w I work with chemical pollution and plastic pollution and the effects in fish. I'm a natural scientist and I explain what can happen and how it happens and, and at what concentrations it can happen. But in order to solve the problems that the ocean is facing, we really need to be together and we need to be a lot of people on board to work with solving the problems. So we need to have people that are working with, with laws and policy and we need to have people that are working with the way industries are developing. We need to educate the general public so that they understand the decisions that we're making and, and why some of them may be uncomfortable but necessary. And one person that I really admire that I would love to have a fika with is Sylvia Earle, who is a, a world leading marine biologist and oceanographer doing a lot of work, a lot of really good work for protecting the oceans, for building marine conservation areas and for educating people about how important the ocean is. A lot of our work's been through research, but now she's running a program called Mission Blue that's, uh, that's leading deep sea research and educational programs and building marine protected areas. So working together with governments and international organizations to really try to protect the oceans. Of course, natural scientists are important, so we need to have uh, like fisheries biologists and ecologists, but we also need to have uh, ecotoxicologists like myself, and, and on top of that, we need to have social sciences on board. So we need to have people working with, with human behavior and societal questions if we're going to try to solve any, any problems that we have in the oceans. They're, the problems are big and wide, and we need to work together to solve them.